All right, so basically I have a baseboard here that I did a couple years ago, and uh, you know it, it wasn't wasn't my best work. I think it was before I got really good, but I'm going to use a toothpick and show you how to touch up uh, wood that may have gotten uh, scratched up or dinged up, you know, just wear and tear over the years. You know, no finer toothpick than Gibson's, I guess. But uh, I'm licking the tip of the toothpick and I'm gonna take a cotton ball and just kind of twist it real gently. It'll grab on itself, and then I'm gonna force a really small uh, point, much finer than a Q-tip, um, and then I'm gonna take some of my favorite stain and shake it up a little bit. I keep them in pasta jars now. It's just a lot easier to open up and, you know, dr uh, drop the brush in and do what I have to do, but, um, you know, the lid will have plenty more than I'm gonna need here, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit here and uh, just kind of blot on the edge. You could use a towel or whatever, but um, you know, I'm just going to start spotting. Uh, I'm going to start, you know, spot brushing the uh, the woodwork. I guess you could use a brush too, you know, if you have one lying around. But um, you know, one thing my dad taught me um, that really made me see things in a different light. You know, when you can't be a hundred percent perfect, is you know, you could if you can at least, you know, prevent the eye from being drawn to a distraction, uh, even if it's you know one thousandth of a percent of an area, your eye is going to pick it up. You know, especially light on dark, which is why if you think you're going to buy a black car and it's going to hide the dirt, it's actually just the opposite. But uh, so I'm I'm kind of spotting these uh, these marks. These were caused by me dropping the baseboard when it was done behind the radiator. Uh, to go along that wall, uh, you know, where the window, where the bedroom window was. And of course, all it took was a little bit of where the fins and the latex paint, um, you know, sort of scratched it and some of the paint got in there and that's that. So rather than redo the whole thing, which I will do eventually because I don't like the job I did, <laughs> but my standards are ridiculous. Um, so I thought, well, I'm gonna, I wanted to nail it in place for a little while until I pried out to redo it and I kind of want to clean it up and make it look real nice. So I'm just kind of blotting this here and you know you'll see it's going to be a little bit darker than it should be so I'll just kind of work it a little bit. You can use your you can use my thumb or you can use the cotton ball. Um, you know here I'm, I'm kind of going lefty because I don't want to block the light that the camera can see by but uh, you know you just have to kind of see what will be convincing and what blends well uh, that's a little bit darker part of the grain, so you can go a little bit darker there. Um, I don't think you want to sit through 10 minutes of this, so I, I, I threw the uh, speed enhancer on here just to kind of accelerate the visuals. But um, yeah, so you know, there's a darker point right up there, um, and that is uh, what I'm doing here. You know, I mean, you're going to put woodwork in, you're going to be done with it. It's going to look magnificent, you know, and, and just like a, a new car, you know, just daily use, and wear and tear, uh, things are going to happen. You know, you're going to move a piece of furniture, you're going to um, you know, carry a bag in from outside and it's going to scuff up against the woodwork. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, your belt can rub up against it, your belt buckle <laughs> and cause a scratch. So, um, you know, this is kind of one way that you can really kind of clean things up a little bit. Uh, if you don't want to go through the process of taking a piece off and, you know, stripping it all down and redoing the whole thing, you know, that, that can be hours of work. But uh, but this this will only take a few minutes. You know, I'm just going to slide it up a little bit and kind of hit those next points from the radiator. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, I, I, I really love using uh, floor stain now. I don't use anything but floor stain. That's it. Uh, because there's you know it's formulated with uh, dryers in it they're called it's a special you know chemical or spirit that really accelerates the drying process if you get anything from you know the hardware store down the street you know and it may work but um, you know you have to wait a day before you can even put any kind of finish on it and these floor guys they got to finish the job they got to get get in there get out of there and and you know call it a day so you know this stuff is designed to be uh, uh, technically dry in two or three hours uh, you know this way they can just they can just stain stain a floor and um, 
you know, it won't be too much time before they can just throw the poly down, pour the poly down and, and apply it and, you know, level and even it out. Um, so, but that is not what this stain is on this piece. That's one reason I want to redo it. Um, you know, I, I use Bona, Woodline, or Duraseal. And those are two, you know, outstanding uh, companies that, that make floor stain. Um, it, it really just, it's, it's great stuff because you don't have to really wipe with the grain and be careful. A floor is not a piece of furniture, you know. It, the stuff was uh, designed to, um, you know, apply and then wipe off in huge sections with towels <laughs> or, uh, or rags. And, you know, even in circular fashion, it, it'll just, it's just magic. Uh, so ever since I started, ever since I did the first part of my house, uh, the floors, and used that good stuff. I mean, I wouldn't ever consider using anything but oil base, um, you know, just because. I mean, just rich. It's a dream to work with. So, um, yeah, so that, that, that's what this involves. You can go, you have a little bit of time, you can go back and, you know, kind of clean it up a little bit, blot it out if that's too dark, you know. But, I mean, this is going to be on the floor. Um, you know, nobody's ever, ever going to pick that out from, from standing up. So uh, that's our video for touching up woodwork.